Hello everyone. In this video, uh, we are going to practice calculating the transfer function in a circuit. So with this, in this specific uh, problem, the transfer function is defined as the current of the 200 inductor over the current of the current source. So your our output is the current of the inductor and the input is the current of the source. So the reason that uh, we go through a process like this is that once you have the transfer function, then calculating the output uh, as a function of input would be a streamlined. So every time that you apply an input, you just need to take the transfer function of the in uh, the Laplace transform of the input, multiply it uh, by the transfer function, and that would give you the uh, Laplace transform of the output. And then if you need the time domain, uh, function then you just do inverse Laplace transform and that with that you can calculate any uh, the output in response to any arbitrary input without the need to ever do any circuit analysis again uh, now the process through which we're going to accomplish that is no different than circuit analysis so we're going to go through the same uh, algorithm the universal algorithm as always so we're going to identify the nodes and label them. Now in this case, since we have a, an, uh, a dependent source, we have to be watchful for uh, the some of the labels that already exist in the circuit. So if this is our ground, then V delta is already defined here and used as a parameter for the dependent source. So this node right here, by definition, becomes V delta. And uh, node here, I can call it V1. And the node here, I'm going to call that V2. Now, as for the currents, obviously, this is IG. Uh, this, I'm going to call this one I1. And then we have an I2 that goes through both of these other two components. Once we are done with uh, labeling the circuit, we're going to start writing equations, KCL and equation for component. So there's only one KCL that we need to write for this circuit. That would be IG. And I'm using capital here to basically um, differentiate IG in the time domain from the IG to in the S domain. I should have done that in the definition of the uh, transfer function as well. So I'm going to do that IG and I out. Okay, so IG is equal to I1 plus I2. That's the KCL for the node V delta. Uh, but that we're going to move on to equations for components. For uh, the 2 kilo ohm resistor, I1 is equal to V delta minus 0 divided by 2. I want to leave everything in uh, milli. Uh, well, I can actually write 2000 for uh, I2. I, and for the 8k resistor i2 is equal to v delta minus v1 divided by 8000 and for the independent for the dependent source we have v1 minus v2 uh, that's equal to nu times v delta And then finally, the current I2 for, for the uh, inductor uh, 2 Henry, uh, the voltage V2 minus V1 is equal to uh, 2 times LS times I2. And this is with the assumption that there is no energy conserved in the inductor so the um, initial condition is zero basically with that we're ready to do the math math um, so now 
the objective for doing the math is not actually to calculate all the variables and instead we are trying to find reduce the number of equations to only one in which the, the only two variables are ig and i0. In other words, if I take the KCL in which I have ig and find a way to write i1 and i2 all as a function of i0, then I put them back here and I'm done. So now I actually noticed that I should have called this one, left this one defined as i0. So instead what I'm going to do is to define our hs as i2 divided by ig because i2 and i0 are the same. So let's just keep going with this. So from this equation v1 is equal to mu v delta plus v2 and I'm going to use this equation 2si2 and I take v1 and put it in this equation so i2 would be equal to v delta minus mu v delta minus 2 s i2 divided by 8000 so from this I can actually calculate v delta as a function of i2 so that would be v delta times 1 minus mu is equal to 8000 plus 2s times i2 I'm going to continue the math continue the math up here so then v delta is equal to 8000 plus 2s divided by 1 minus mu i2 now I can take that put it in this equation and finally I can write ig as a function of i2 which is what I was trying to accomplish so this would be 8000 plus 2s over 2000 times 1 minus mu i2 plus 2 now I can uh, calculate from uh, this equation I can calculate the transfer function hs which is basically i2 over ig and uh, that would be 1 over um, 2s plus 10,000 minus 2,000 mu over 2,000 times 1 minus mu if I simplify that that would be a thousand times 1 minus mu over s plus um, 5,000 minus a thousand mu now once we have that uh, if you're given the value of mu and uh, given ig uh, we can calculate i out so let's say just uh, igt is ut it's a step function then from that I know IGS would be 1 over S and therefore I 
out s or i2s would be 1 over s times hs that we just calculated and then i out t would be simply the Laplace transform of 1 over s hs. Now you can change igt to anything else let's say sine, cosine, um, exponential function anything and then you calculate IGS and repeat the same process. Hopefully this has been helpful and thank you for your attention.